back to 30 miles out. I'm Ty. You know, the winds in South Texas can be brutal. When they start blowing 20 knots plus, you gotta pick a different plan. This water was so shallow and it was so windy and rough, we had to walk them to deeper water before we could put in the mirages. I was ready to get on the bank. When it jumps up past 20 knots, kayakers and boaters alike hunker down. Not me. I hit the water on foot. So why not throw some live bait on bottom? Dive, we'll just freeze them and use them another time. Just look for all the little ripples Run down the bank line here. Cast net and live bait and fishing deep is another way to deal with wind. On this evening, we caught a bunch of finger mullet and fished on bottom in a nearby channel. Another easy way to beat the wind is just to wade. We put the wind at our backs and cast with the wind and use the wind to our advantage. What you got, babe, bro? We don't know yet. We work on it. B2B? Listen to that wind ripping. I'm sure for the fish below the surface, it ain't that bad. But for us, we gotta manage. Another way to beat the wind is to find the lee side of an island or peninsula. Here I am at Copano Bay escaping the winds that are on the east side of the peninsula at Rockport. I've got a lot of trees, a lot of houses, and a big embankment to protect me here. It's topwater time. A lot of wind makes topwater near impossible. But in the heat of the summer, sometimes daybreak, even if it gets windy later, daybreak will be calmer. While walking the dog, I try to make as much erratic action as possible and pause it. My favorite rod for this type of fishing is the All Pro Atlantis series. I get it in a seven and a half foot and it throws those plugs a country mile. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Got something on, told top water. Yes, indeed. Come to daddy. I've been pausing it. Second hit I got this morning. Here in South Texas, they don't have windmill farms for no reason. We got a lot of wind. Thank goodness for that hard sand though. It gives us the option to wait and put the wind in our back. That's what I'm talking about. I pause the top water and I put it between my legs to work on the camera and I got a smash. Twitch, twist, 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 pause. Shoot up and pause at the time and bam! Top water, Copano Bay, early morning. Bam! Alright, let's get back out there and do it again. So when the wind kicks up in your area, just do some windy day footwork. Either walk the banks, if you can, wait out on the flats. Put that wind to your back and let it take that plug sailing. Till next time on time, we'll catch you right here on 30 Miles Out. What? 30 Miles Out is brought to you by Book One, The Fish Grip, and Yak Attack. Mike Chick, how do you beat the wind? Where do you go in your kayak? Comment below.